welcome to the foolish kitchen and I'm going to do something foolish <laughs> probably dangerous we'll see um, a couple weeks ago I picked up this um, 100 year old well 118 year old uh, can opener now I've seen can openers of the similar mechanism I know how they're supposed to work I've never seen one with teeth it's wonderful wonderfully dangerous looking um, it's called the slipper according to the marking um, it's very firm it's very solid nice piece nice oak handle it is ridiculously well made I mean it's just there's just nothing to do on it I washed it I think um, however <laughs> I have this can of peaches that if I don't eat it soon it's not I mean it's not gonna go bad for another two years but it's, it's like I don't this is just an enormous can of peaches and I was like that is the ideal tin for this because I don't have any big number tens but basically that's the ideal thing for this so we're gonna see if we can manage to do this without killing ourselves or drawing any blood um, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that I cans these days are are made differently than they were 118 years ago so maybe that was our first attempt I was actually <laughs> I was actually trying I was just kind of seeing if I could puncture, puncture it without any you know but uh, apparently that was not how to do it and uh, oh I ventilated it it worked Oh, look! I'm not sure if the teeth are helping, because essentially what I'm doing is the same thing I would do with a, um, uh, a P38. Uh, hold on, sort a picture. You know what a P38 is. Um, basically, they work on the, on this, the cranky, this motion. And uh, so it's sharp enough. Um, the teeth aren't really helping in this case, because this can is obviously modern oh it's running up and down the groove nicely i just don't see the king the slippers help the teeth helping um i <laughs> this is one of those moments where i really wish i had bought some of those um oyster gloves because <laughs> i would really feel better with um uh, some Kevlar between my hands and the lid but this towel's doing nicely and I haven't really made a mess I'm very impressed with myself if you have never read it um, Jerome K. Jerome wrote a book in 1888 I believe it's called three men in a boat to say nothing of the dog and it's three men going up a up the Thames or down the Thames you know in a really long you know, rowboat with and they bring all their gear and it is in my in my estimation the funniest book in the English language pardon Do Douglas Adams but I think he would agree in the book in the story they forget the can opener and it would have been exactly like this one it would have worked exactly like this and uh, they forgot it and they had a, a large can of pineapple a tin of pineapple and that there's a whole chapter of the various ways they tried to open this tin of pineapple and it, and now we know that if you actually just rubbed it on a rock for a long time you could coerce the lid to giving up but they didn't know that and they finally I just think threw it in the river oh I just spoiled it for you but I advise you to read it and I advise you to look for the there's one version that's abridged read by Hugh Laurie which is really funny but get the unabridged version it is something I listen to every year hurt myself and the slipper works just as well today as it did in 1900 so yay slipper <laughs> and now I want to do something with these peaches I don't know peach cobbler I might just eat them out of the can who knows uh, it does leave this horrible thing this horrible edge but in 1900 uh, it would be your maid opening it or the kitchen staff and you don't really care if they cut themselves on, on these things but I would assume you just dump it out and get rid of the can. So it doesn't leave the lovely edge that a uh, the modern does. So 
The one drawback, aside from that, works great. Um, I'm going to rinse it off. It is uh, nickel-plated steel. Most of the nickel's worn off, but there's no rust on this. This is this is just lovely, lovely tool. Not sure how many I would. I don't think I would try this in a smaller can because I think I would just be taking my life in my hands. Um, but on definitely on a number ten, this will work great. So thanks for joining me.